Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Sean Pramanda. You're watching another Discord JS tutorial where you guys can code your own Discord by using Discord JS. So in today's video, where I'm going to be going over the welcome role, we'll basically where our bot will automatically assign a new user whenever they join our server, like a member role, and it's going to send out a message in the welcome channel saying, "Hey user, welcome to the server." And if you're completely lost and not sure how to get started, I strongly recommend you check out my, the first three videos in this series where I show you guys how you can set up your Discord bot and set up your coding environment and all of that. So make sure to check that out. Also, we're going to be using the advanced command handler, which I showed you guys in episode three in this series. So if you're using a different sort of command handler, make sure you use this command handler as it will be easier to follow along. The first thing I'm going to do is go to Discord developer portal, which we visited in the first episode where we created your application so you want to go to your application click on it and then go to the bot tab and then here you can see here's our information about our bot here what we're going to do is turn on gateway so basically this is a new feature that discord has rolled out and I strongly recommend you turn this on in fact you should turn this on for your discord bot as otherwise that this video this welcome tutorial will not work for you make sure you turn on present intent and server members intent and do keep in mind that if once your bot reaches 100 or more servers you'll have to verify it and whitelist it but if you're just creating like a private bot for your own private server for your, your friends this should not affect you but if you're planning on creating a public bot you make sure to verify it otherwise if your bot exceeds more than 100 servers it will not be able to join any more servers so with that being said and that being turned on let's go back onto our dummy account which we've been using to test our code in the last couple of videos is this how the server looks like when a member does not have any roles assigned to them so if i go to on my main account and i see how the server is set up as you can see this is myself and here's the bot and the dummy account is not being shown here even though the dummy account is in the server and this is because the dummy account does not have the permission to view this channel and if we go into our server settings and we click on roles you will see that this is how the server is set up you'll see that the, the everyone role does not have any permissions and our member role is the one that has the permissions to view the channel and send messages this is like i stated in my previous video in the mute part 2 episode everyone role is prone to a lot of errors and this is why many people do not use the everyone role in their coding when they're coding a discord bot instead they create their own member type of role for their server so in this case i've created this yellow role called member which will the bot will assign when a new user joins the server so Without the member role, you basically cannot do anything. You see no channels, you can do nothing. So what we're going to do is whenever a user joins, like I stated, the bot will auto-assign the member role and which will allow the user to start doing the channel and start doing whatever they want. So the first thing you want to do is go to Visual Studio Code and under your guild events, you want to create a new file and just call it guild member add.js. And like I stated, um, we are using the advanced command handler, which was shown in episode three. So if you haven't checked out that video, make sure to check out that first. So the first thing you want to start off your event. First, you want to type is modular exports, and you want to pass in Discord, and pass in client, and then pass in member. And then the reason why we're passing in Discord is because if we're creating like an event in the future, we turn this into an embed. You want to make sure that Discord is passed in. So then you want to do an error function. Open this up. And then we're going to be creating like a variable for which our member role will be stored in. So we're going to do let welcome role is equal to member dot guild dot roles dot cache dot find role arrow role dot name three equal signs single quotation mark member. And then basically what that is, is that our welcome role, whenever a user joins, it's going to be set to the member. Whatever your role in the server is, make sure it exactly matches to what you're writing in Visual Studio Code. Otherwise, it will not work. And once you have done that, you just want to type member.roles.add and then simply type the variable, which is welcome role. And with that being done, we should be good to go. And if we save the bot and then type node space dot to run the bot. Bot is ready and let's go back on our dummy account. Leave the server and join back. So as you can see, the bot has automatically assigned my dummy account the member role. And if we in fact go to audit logs and see 
As you can see, Doug Tutorial 2.0 updated roles for dummy account just now. Added the role member. So it does in fact work. So now what we're going to do is just take this one step up and basically it's going to do a welcome message. So as you can see, there's this welcome channel and this rules channel that we've created. In the welcome channel, the bot will basically post a message to all the new users who join saying, hey, welcome to the server, make sure to check out the rules channel. And you can customize this to your liking. So what to do this, we're going to go to back to Visual Studio Code and over here we're going to type underneath members.roles.add welcome role. So we're going to type member.guild.channels.cache.get and then here we're going to type single quotation marks and we're going to specify a channel where the message will be sent and in this case it's the welcome channel. We want to get the idea of the channel that we're going to be sending the messages in. So if we go to our Discord server and then we go to the welcome channel, right click on it and click on copy ID. And if you don't get this option when you right click on getting this copy ID, all you need to do is turn on developer mode. So once again, go into your user settings, scroll down to where it says advanced and then here as you can see it says developer mode turn that toggle on and once you have turned that you should be able to copy the id so copy id go back to visual studio code paste that id in so i'm going to type dot send parentheses back tick and then do well i'm going to ping the user who joins welcome so we're going to do less sign add sign money sign uh, and we're going to type member dot user dot id to our server and that's it for now and we're going to be adding on to that later so we forgot to close this right here okay, and then we save that again now let me leave on my dummy account and let me join back you can see welcome dummy account to our server so now what we can actually do is instead of just saying to our server what we can do is say welcome to the server's name so in this case it says tutorial server so it will say welcome dummy account to tutorial server or whatever your server's name is so what we're going to do is go back to visual studio code and instead of to our server what we're going to type is we're going to remove our server and then we're going to do dollar sign open that with the braces member dot guild dot name and if we run the bot once we save the code so we want to go to our dummy account and then leave the server again and then as you can see welcome dummy account to tutorial server and we can actually customize this or make this a little bit fancier bold it because you know everything in bold looks better and now that we welcome them, we actually want to direct them to like say the rules channel saying make sure to check out the rules channel. So what we're going to type is make sure to check out hashtag rules. So, so we simply can't just type hashtag rules. Instead we have to copy the ID of the rules channel. So in our Discord server it will pop up as an actual channel. So what we're going to do is less sign hashtag and we want to copy the ID of the rules channel. So once again right click copy ID paste that in to our message close that with the less sign and then you can just type an exclamation at the end save and if we now run the bot once again and let me leave the server on my dummy account and let me join again so as you can see welcome dummy account to tutorial server make sure to check out hashtag rules so obviously i have not created any rules yet but if, so basically as you can see this worked perfectly it welcomes the user and directs them to where to go next so this is fully functional and the welcome role is as simple as that it was a very short tutorial hopefully this video helped you and in the next episode i'm going to be going over embed which will basically make the bot a lot fancier and we're going to be creating the rules embed and we're going to be creating basically whatever command we've created so far whether it's the mute command whether it's the ban command the kick command and whatnot we're going to just transform that into an embed so it looks much better so hopefully this video helped you make sure to give it a like share this video with friends and family comment on below if you have any questions or suggestions on what should i make for my future videos those are highly appreciated and thank you so much for watching have a wonderful day Bye bye